Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode uh, of Inappropriate Movie Database, the comedy game show about content warnings. I'm usually your host, Nick Martucci, and this is usually a game about uh, parental warnings from IMDb for movies. Uh, not tonight. Tonight is a uh, very, very special episode. I'm so excited for it. Uh, tonight, we are revisiting the, the well of, of video games, an inappropriate video game database. Uh, all the same rules, just with video games. Uh, and I, I personally uh, do not know video games, but I get to play tonight and try to beat my last score. This is the second time we're doing it. Uh, let's bring in uh, the people I'm gonna go up against tonight. Uh, we got our some of our favorites here tonight: Josh Pick, Mike hey. Giordano, Tyler Tuttle, and Hello. your host for tonight. Uh, this is the second time hosting the game. I'm so happy he's doing it. Josh Poirier. Hey everybody, how's it going? How's it going? Ooh. I gotta plug in my computer before it dies. <laughs> um, so that'd probably be a good idea. Hey, so this is a video game show. Uh, I've been on this show uh, 12 times now. <laughs> I got a record of six and six. Uh, so when you get a when you get a record of six and six, Nick just lets you do a show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, what we're going to do is the same thing as uh, as the normal show, where we uh, have five clues, uh, uh, five clues uh, in varying difficulties, uh, and each one is a, each one is based on a video game. And let me tell you something: some of these video game people are more insane than the movie people. Uh, yeah. literally more insane than the movie people. I mean, I have one from the last show, GTA 5, where someone actually counted the amount of fucks in the entire game, including all oh, the wow. cutscenes. <laughs> and they came up with 1,308 uses of the word fuck. Although some <laughs> of it was, uh, they, they, did, they did say that some of it was skippable. So <laughs> that's just the level of insanity that these people are. Fucks. So <laughs> same rules as before, basically just raise your hand when you, if you want, if you want to guess. Uh, last person to ring in guesses first. And uh, you lose a point if you get it wrong, and uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, so the Jeez. first game is from the 2010s. It is a multi-platform game. And in sex and nudity for five points, there's a moment where you may spot two people looking into a window. You yourself can see inside and will be able to see a man and a woman in a room together. Both incredibly drunk, and the man would be saying suggestive things to her. And that is, uh, they think that's mild. Uh, sex and nudity. <laughs> the year 2010? 2010s. Oh, okay. Tens. Decades. So the decade, decade. decade of 2010. Sorry. Well, that doesn't work for my autism at all. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. See I'm you guys in an hour. Ground. <laughs> <laughs> for four points, sex and nudity, also mild. A couple can be found while free roaming. They're revealed to be siblings and they flirt with each other, referencing an incestuous relationship. No actual sex or nudity, yeah. but it can be uncomfortable. Josh, pick. Is, is this Red Dead Redemption 2? Tyler. Is, is this Red Dead Redemption 2? It is Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> so I was going to guess that the first hey, time, and it's Mike funny. Look hands. what I'm doing my second hands. playthrough of right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's four points for Josh, four points for Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike so also buzzed in. Oh, did yeah, you, do I you get buzz a point? In? Yeah, you got a point. You get a point. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you, I'll give you I, did, I didn't see the buzz in, so I'll give you. Uh, cool. I'll give you three. Points. I was going to guess Bioshock Infinite, but I'm going to take. I'm gonna take the points. <laughs> I'll give you three points. My man. <laughs> is it? Is it my? Is it the fact that I'm using a Caucasian hand that's making it difficult to see? Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because you usually think that Caucasian hands get seen by everybody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> In violence and gore for three points would have been players can kill enemies with a wider arsenal of over 50 weapons. They could choose whether to approach a mission aggressively, aggressively or peacefully. And violence and gore for, and they thought violence and gore was severe in this game. Uh, people can be set on fire by campfires and other flammable sources. Yeah. They will scream in pain and will show some nasty wounds and various third, fourth degree burns all over their bodies. Not very graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Is there such a thing as a fourth degree burn? <laughs> Man, it's really. I think that's to the bone. So funny that that's the first one, yeah. <laughs> and then I finally do, do a play, uh, play through of this again. Uh, anyway, yeah. In profanity, it was moderate. Micah calls jo John Marston's wife Abigail a whore in the last mission of the game during their showdown. 
Can I change Can I my guess? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I still I don't it's have friends. a guess. <laughs> and the bone, I have a little bonus clue on this one. The game is very mild and suitable for anyone over the age of 13. The 18 age rating is too strict. Uh, was Which it an 18 I, yeah. age rating for this game? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it does. It makes a lot of sense. So uh, yeah. for the first, for first question, we got Josh at four, Tyler at four, and Mike at three. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should nice. give Mike four. Uh, no, no. no, I give him three. That's my All show right. now. No extra point for being <laughs> honest. <laughs> Next game is 2010s again. It's a multi-platform game. In drugs and alcohol, they thought that drugs and alcohol in this game were moderate. One man smokes in nearly every scene he's in. There's no implication that this is anything other than tobacco. Uh, one second. I'm slow. I can't find my hand. 2010s, right? Yep. Okay. I think this is too early. Tyler. Everyone was smoking cigarettes in that L.A. Noir game. Uh, it is not L.A. Noir. Mm-hmm. Disagree. I thought you were saying <laughs> L.L. Noir for a second. And I was it was L- 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 Cool J's Noir. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies love, ladies love L.A. Noir. <laughs> uh, prof- and for four points, for profanity, which they also thought was moderate in this game, in frequent uses hmm. of fuck throughout the game, most of them said by one character. One hmm. guy fucks. 2010s. Yep. One guy says fuck a lot. I love the fact that it's Josh smoked. is playing a video game as he is. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> What an addictive game. I haven't, I haven't touched this in a couple of years. And oh, man. <laughs> I just want to loot everyone. In three points. Violence and gore and moderate, they thought this was. There's a certain kind of enemy that may explode when killed. Not too graphic, but bloody bits are very briefly seen when the enemy blows up. Uh, 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 oh, one second. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, Mike. Yeah. Uh, is it the uh, is it the new Wolfenstein? It is Tyler. Uh, Wolfenstein. <laughs> Josh. Wolfenstein. It is not Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't uh, change the group thing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to my original guess on the next one. <laughs> All right, so in two point, for two points, sex and nudity, mild. A character des- is designed to be alluring with her body having been engineered to physical perfection. This is discussed in game, though mildly. I hate that that tipped me off. <laughs> All right, Josh, you're not up? No, now I'm, now I'm lowering my hand. Is it too right. late to say Wolfenstein? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take off a point for you there. Uh, I would appreciate if you did it. <laughs> Thank you, Gas. Who gives a right. shit? Josh. Is it uh, Detroit become. He- no, it's not that. I'd, I'd take my guess away. All right. I don't care. All right. well, t- take, put your hand down. Mike. I am. <laughs> Is it whatever Halo game came out in the 2010s? The two- Halo 4? <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. That uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh. It is not any game, any Halo that came out in 2010s, <laughs> and it is not it is not Metal Gear Solid oh. Five. Well, um, oops, I'm still in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the final clue for one point: sex and nudity mild. Depending on player choice, a romance scene may occur near the game's end. This involves heavy kissing as well as lingerie. Miranda's scene in particular involves her unzipping her jumpsuit to reveal her bra and straddling the player character. These scenes are brief and avoidable, however. <laughs> brief and avoidable? <laughs> <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> Josh. Oh, yeah. Sex in the city, city the video game. Tyler. <laughs> it's uh, Sex in the City to the Ladies Take Dubai, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Uh, is it Mass Effect 2 and Just Like That? It is Mass Effect 2. It is neither of the other guests. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. It's not a Sex in the City video game? No. Sure? <laughs> oh, I think it Mass Effect like 2 would... was pre-2010s. I'm going to put that on the record. Uh, That's got 2000... 
I 2009. Yeah, I think you may be right. I mean, I, I, I may have, I may have messed that one up. So uh, that's exactly why yeah, I didn't really guess until the end. <laughs> it's sad. I, but it's it's sad, but you know what? It's my game now. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that round, wow. uh, this is sad. At the end of that, at the end of that one, uh, Josh is at two. Mike is at two. Tyler and Nick tied at zero. <laughs> <laughs> Second place. So for the third, <laughs> third game is 2000s. Also multi-platform. For five points in profanity, moderate uses use word uses words like damn and hell. Bitch is used once or twice. Whore is used only once. Also, one of the characters uses a few words relating to fecal matter to describe to describe stuff. Exactly one use of crap, three uses of turd, and two uses of shit. Oh, three man, counting is bad use for analogy to okay. describe planning a way to escape. Oh, <laughs> what was the name of this game though? Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, for four points, frightening and intense scene, severe. Suggested MPAA rating R for violence, including a brutal torture scene and some sexuality. Tyler. I don't know what this game was called. Pong. <laughs> it is Pong. No, it's not Pong. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, uh, fr- frightening and intense scenes, severe. The villains in this game are violent and unpredictable. Some of the bosses have an intimidating and frightening, frightening appearance. Has anyone guessed Pong yet? <laughs> you know yeah, what? We, we had Pong. <laughs> Speak of the devil, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> For two uh... points, drugs and alcohol, mild usage. Character always carries a cigar, although it has a medicinal use, removing leeches, and is described as dangerous and habit-forming. Equipping it steadily drains the character's life. Tyler. Is this uh, the, that third Metal Gear Pong? Mike, Mike. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater? It is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake yeah. Eater. <laughs> Was that two points? Yeah, that's three. This yeah, reminds me that I stopped playing video games for like <laughs> 10 to 15 years of my life in the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> Same, but I haven't Uh-oh. picked it back up yet. <laughs> the number one, the one point clue was uh, frightening, intense, scene severe. There's a part where Snake has to come to terms with all the people he has killed and the way he used to kill them. For example, if he slits a person's throat, they'll be in the area with their throat slit screaming. The more people he has killed, the more ghostly appear- figures appear in front of him. The guy who created it is is a sick fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> that that's just a horror show. If you ever played the game, that is an absolute horror show. That scene, especially if you kill everybody. <laughs> and uh, anyways, so at the end of that round, uh, Nick, you're still at zero. Uh, Tyler's at one. Josh is at two, and Mike's at four. Nice. Nick's taking the Lloyd Legacy uh, sharp. For this one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Except for this? I swear Lloyd knows some of the answers. I have nothing. Nineteen ninety three one. Okay, here we go. Ready to buzz multi, it. multi. System game. Most of these are multi-system games, actually. Uh, uh, the violence and gore, mild. Animated fantasy action violence, nothing explicit. Josh. Santa House rules. <laughs> <laughs> what game Mike. are we playing? Mike. I, don't, I don't know. Chrono Trigger? Yeah, it is Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was going to say that because I heard you start to say it. Yeah, I know, I, I know, I started to say it. You run a tight ship, Josh. I know, I know. I know, I know. Uh, so I'm not going to take the point off for side house rules because you are, you are, you are, you are, you are my princess of Maine. <laughs> Chrono Trigger is the Cider House rules of video games. So. It really is. So. Uh, are you giving Mike points for that? <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him. I'm giving him. I'm giving him five points for that because it's my mistake. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Drugs it's a real easy game to run, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I told you last time that it was hard as hell. <laughs> no asterisks here. <laughs> The other, other clues that I think were drugs and alcohol are mild. The main character is a minor, consumes alcohol in a few scenes of the game. However, this is not glorified in any way. The Super Nintendo version removes the alcohol reference. The Nintendo DS and PlayStation versions keep it intact. In uh, Sex and Nudity... Uh, wait, wait, uh, <laughs> Mike, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait and play the game. Actually, you know what's funny? <laughs> I, only, I, only put, I only put four clues for this. So you get four <laughs> points. <laughs> 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 this 
So you just lost a point. <laughs> Sex and nudity, a character. A character warns everybody about Flea the Magician, not an ordinary woman, and Flea mentions that she's actually a guy. This is the first time a transgender character was introduced in a Super Nintendo game. Pretty cool, actually. Uh, violence and gore. Is this before Viol- Birdo? Birdo's yeah. before Super Nintendo. That's true. Birdo's yeah. in three. Well, this is the first time it was introduced in a Super Nintendo game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then mild violence and gore. Lavos, the giant turtle monster, can be seen attacking the world with his firebombs in the year 1999 AD before the world ends up in ruin 301 years later. All right, so right. at the end of that, at the end of that, Mike has a commanding lead with eight points. Uh, Josh is at two. Tyler's at one. Nick, you're still at zero, and uh, I'm taking five points away from myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually losing this game. All right, yeah. right now we've got a mid-boss round. First boss of the game. Uh, so for three points, everybody can answer, uh, and I want everybody can answer, and you don't lose a point if you get it wrong, uh, because these are actually really relatively difficult, and they're all about the same. They're all about Not the like same the other ones where you've read the one point clues and I haven't known any of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 1990s game. And uh, actually, I mean, yeah, 1990s game and sex and nudity is every clue is sex and nudity. Just let me read all them and before you before you guess. Um, mild sex and nudity. Uh, Islanders walk around without shirts. One of the main nice. characters has huge breasts and her cleavage can be seen. Nice. Some of the female so characters wear somewhat revealing clothing to appear nice. half naked but no nudity is shown. The opening scene briefly shows a side character in a midriff bearing top. A young man and young woman kiss passionately in the mis- middle of a lake. Sex is not implied. The scene is meant to be emotional and romantic. Suggested ERSRB rating, rated T for very mild language, suggestive themes, violence, peril, tedious puzzles, mild, scary scenes, fairly intense <laughs> gameplay, and level grinding. Rated, rated, rated T again? for tedious puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, gonna, I'm so just tedious. gonna go to everybody. I'm gonna go to everybody to start with Mike. Mike, you gonna guess? What was the decade again? Uh, let me actually double check that <laughs> <laughs> uh, because All I was right. wrong before, and I want to make sure I'm right this time. Uh, give me one second. It is uh, 2000s. Actually, I was wrong. It was the 2000s. <laughs> is it <laughs> Final Fantasy 10? Josh. Tomb Raider. Tyler. Uh, the, the, the island boobies. <laughs> Nick. This is Pokemon Yellow. It is Final Fantasy X. <laughs> <laughs> Mike gets three points. You defeated the mid-boss, Mike. Are you proud? Uh, you should be. I am so proud. This is the biggest accomplishment of my life so far. I focus you ever too think hard. Plays video games that ever take you anywhere, Mike? <laughs> Take me everywhere to islands with big-breasted, uh, midriff-bearing women. Which, which clue is it? Which clue is it? They, they gave it to you. Uh, the 2010 or the 2000s thing. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling it was some sort of Final Fantasy, but I just needed to know what number to add to it. <laughs> All right, big breasts this, uh... was big, basically the giveaway. <laughs> for me, for me, the giveaway when I when I was reading through was the uh, the, the 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 scene in the in the lake. I just remember that uh, scene. Yes. Um, uh, anyways, so at the end of that round, uh, Mike, you got 11. Josh, you got two. Tyler, at one. Yeah. Nick, what's up? You got zero. Uh, <laughs> how's, how's, how's it going, Nick? Uh, <laughs> wait, waiting for, for one of my games. Okay. Uh, 2000s. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Multi again. Uh, violence and gore is severe in this game. Uh, players can choose to kill enemies and civilians in any number of ways, including knives, guns, baseball bats, grenades, and vehicular slaughter. Wait a second. What? What years? Hold on. You know, you know what happened? Uh, my, no. my thing got all screwed up. Hold up. One second. One second, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk amongst ourselves. Yeah. Um, what happened? Oh, that's what happened. Okay, you know, okay, I got it. You guys hear this pong thing? I I reformatted Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, everything got screwed up. Uh, two thousands, multi, Uh Monson Gore, severe. Uh, two thousands. Uh, all right. I apologize for the uh for the issues. Um, the player can form can perform a stealth kill where which you can sneak up on somebody from behind and slit their throat with a knife, killing them instantly. Tyler. Uh, the Punisher. Josh. 
uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Nick. Grand Theft Auto 3. It is not The Punisher. It is not Grand Theft Auto 4. It is not Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> That's okay. I'm I not here to win. the though. opportunity. I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy to see you guess, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Four points. Uh, writing an intense scene. If this was a movie, the game would be rated R for strong, brutal, bloody violence and language throughout drug use and some strong sexual gra- content, including graphic nudity. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nick. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, Josh. Let's throw them all in there. Tyler. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> sure. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Tyler. Uh, have any of them not been said? Which one's <laughs> left? All of them. We said <laughs> all, all the 2000s ones. Uh, I'll copy pick then. I'll be, uh, I'll be the San Andreas. Mike. I'm going to also go with San Andreas. It is not Grand Theft Auto Vice City, but it is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I knew it wasn't Vice City. <laughs> I was going to guess that that's, on that's the last favorite one, one, and I couldn't remember if that was the title. <laughs> <laughs> so. For, uh, for uh, the rest, for just for shits and giggles of drugs and alcohol, at one point in the story, many of the main characters' friends become hooked on crack and fall slave to drug dealers. Um, I know one point <clears throat> you know, if Sex you had just said the year, I would have known it right off the bat. <laughs> Yep, sex and nudity, many objects and places scattered throughout the map also yep. refer to sex. For example, a sex shop with toys and adult films. The main character can also wear an S&M suit and wield a dildo as a weapon. Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun one. And number one was, you heard it. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> and Knuckles? Yeah, yeah, Sonic yeah. and Knuckles. <laughs> this is a Cider House Rules video game. <laughs> so uh, Sorry, Mike, is at fif- Mike is at 15, Josh is at 5, Tyler's at oh. 4, and Nick's at negative 2, and now I'm at negative 7. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. better than I thought. <laughs> yeah. 2000s, multi-platform, violence and gore, severe. There are several corpses encountered throughout the game, frequently covered in blood. Josh. The uh, corpse Mike. game. <laughs> Mike. Uh, Resident <laughs> Evil 4. I have no idea. Corpse House 2000s. <laughs> it is not the corpse game. <laughs> it's no, not corpse it's the House corpse 2000s. House video game. And it oh. is not Resident Evil 4. <laughs> not even listening to me. Three equally valid guesses. <laughs> three, yeah. very, three, 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 three equally valid guesses. Uh, all of them wrong. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think I should have points taken away from me. I clearly don't. I meant the range. I have my I point taken so. away from Josh instead of me. Like he loses two and I lose one. <laughs> that does seem Did I take fair. any leftover points? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Can I just redistribute my points to everybody? And just to be fair, <laughs> we can really use it. <laughs> we'll all be at like five. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I want to donate mine to FEMA. <laughs> <laughs> your points can house a small. Your points can house a refugee family. <laughs> no, I want I want them used for Americans. <laughs> <laughs> for four points of profanity, mild name calling, fat, disgusting pig, fart face, ugly, stupid. Oh, oh, for the very oh. easily triggered, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mike. This was a 2000s game, so I'm probably wrong. Uh, is it South Park 64? Josh. Bully? Tyler. Uh, with all the corpses. <laughs> bully. Uh, oh, is it- man. I forgot what... Uh, I want to change my guess to... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, dead- the corpses. Corpses <laughs> bully. Dead rising. It is not... Um, it is not uh, South Park 64. It is not yeah. bully. Yeah, <laughs> I know really, it's not bully. It's, it's really not bully. <laughs> and yeah, it is I... it is not it is not dead rising. Oh man. I forgot about those damn corpses. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too, Mike. You and me both. <laughs> Only thing I remember. Definitely wouldn't have said what I had said if uh, I remembered the part about corpses that Josh did definitely say. Um Three you know points. What? This, one, this one's on me, Mulligan. So <laughs> Three points. 
<laughs> in violence and gore, which is severe, again, the protagonist and his companion flee a monster and escape into a lift. However, the companion remember, doesn't reach it in time. It is implied that she stabbed with a large knife and then murdered. Remember, Mike, there's corpses. <laughs> remember the large knife and bully? <laughs> I remember the lift ride. L-Y-F-T, <laughs> not like an English person saying elevator. Tyler. Uh, is it the elevator not everyone got to ride? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to uh, dignify that with a, uh, a Josh. Is it the Beatles video game? <laughs> He's going to take it to ride, not this elevator? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has to stay on the first floor, it says in subtitles. <laughs> A to, not visit, a to not visit the, the Maharaja. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. That was that was an Atari game. I'm stupid. <laughs> you both lost a point. <laughs> Why? Damn it, now I'm guess, not going to win. That was a pretty legitimate guesses, though. You're right. For sex and nudity moderate. In a room during the Brookhaven hospital level, there's a poster with a woman in a bikini standing in a suggestive manner. Oh, if you know where Brookhaven was, this is a great clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Nick? <laughs> uh, Josh. The Jumanji game. <laughs> Brookhaven was a big Silent Hill place named two. Jumanji. Tyler. Sim City Brookhaven. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it, it Grand Sim Theft Auto Brookhaven? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Brookhaven. <laughs> it is not Sim City Brookhaven. It is not um, whatever Josh said. <laughs> You don't remember. You can't take points away. <laughs> don't remember. You can't take points Imagine away. the game. <laughs> However, it is Silent Hill 2. Oh. <laughs> You're hitting the numbers, Mike. <laughs> uh, and the, one, the number one, the one point clue in severe, frightening and intense scenes with Pyramid Head is extremely disturbing and sinister. Probably would have. Would that have helped you, Nick? Uh, no, I would have forgotten uh, where Pyramid Head is from. All right, yeah. uh, next. Uh, now we've got uh, Mike on 15. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure this isn't Bully? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mike's at 15. Josh, you're at yeah. one. Tyler's at yeah. zero. Nick, you're at negative two. I'm hey. still within striking distance of, of most people. Yeah, you are. <laughs> well, and now it's you get a, a 1990s real fight game. for second place. <laughs> Yeah, I don't trust your 1990s. Are you sure this isn't too I'm sure it's 1990s. Yes. <laughs> we'll find out, Nick. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Uh, profanity. It's a multi-platform game. Profanity. Mild. Very mild. Damn hell and Bastard Sword are the biggest offenders. What decade again? Bastard Sword? 1990s. Going for it. Tyler. Is it Final Fantasy VII? Uh, sorry to take a point away from you. It's not Final Fantasy VII. Bastard Tours in some of those games. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, for frightening intense scenes Does for four help? points. Se- severe. The game relies on a dark horror, horror atmosphere all throughout, considering the subject matter. Complete with, it was a dark and stormy night appeal. So it's a Snoopy book. <laughs> I'm going to take, I got this another real Raven, guess. I think. Tyler. What? This is uh, oh. the Castlevanias. Can Gosh. I be that vague? The Gosh, 90s, that... right? Yep. Gex, end of the gecko. <laughs> Tyler, Castlevania, I need you more specific. Oh, uh, wait, I... for a minute. Sim- uh, night, Symphony of the Night. Tyler, it is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <laughs> oh, big dog. <laughs> Oh, that game was expensive, so I got rid of it. <laughs> actually, I, I just I actually sold that game. I sold all my Castlevania games recently for about seven hundred dollars. Yeah, um, they go for a pretty penny. I was like, I can buy this digitally for like five bucks. Okay, I know, but everybody loves the games. Uh, so, do you I, have I, Gex on the list? Because I can get Gex. Yeah, get anybody can get Gex. I I can get Gex, but I can go, I can walk next door and get Gex. <laughs> well, go get us some Gex, would you? I, I will get you some Gex. God. Uh, the other, the other, the other clues: sex and nudity. One of the bosses speaks to the player in a rather sensual, sexually teasing voice. Her in-game Uh-oh. graphic appears to show her nude from the waist down, yet nothing graphic is seen. That that makes no sense. Her in-game graphic, yet nothing. So I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> sex and nudity. Artistic nudity is used on a few occasions. The grand warrior statues in the warp rooms are unclothed, and their penises are clearly seen. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to the level with dick. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's plenty of dick in there. I, I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, drugs, in it. drugs and alcohol, mild, very little, if any at all. Dracula throws a wine glass on the floor before his battle with Richter Belmont. It is implied <laughs> that it possibly contained wine or any kind of spirit. Or blood. Probably blood. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it had Mountain Dew. If you had Dracula drink yeah. Mountain Dew. Code Red. Red. The, game or the game fuel one. Gex. <laughs> Gex fuel one. That so lizard has so much attitude. It's incredible. <laughs> I can and feel like it. Unlimited sex appeal. I've never yeah, wanted to yeah. fuck a lizard. Gex before. appeal. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Don't. At the end of the round, Nick is at negative two. Josh at zero. Tyler well, up to three. Mike, you're at 15. Way next round. So I'm glad to have it. Hey, can I level with you guys? Yeah. Level with. Good, good video game ref, bro. <laughs> I fell down the stairs a few nights ago. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> that was weeks ago. <laughs> well, my long-term memory is fine. That's good to know. Yeah, but my short-term memory is shot. So give me a break. 2010s. 2010s. Multi-platform. Violence and gore. Uh, lots of blood. When the creatures die, though, their bodies are left intact, so not much gore per se. Bosses disappear after killing them. The blood doesn't look very realistic, though, and doesn't stain the environment. You are able to turn off the blood in the game. <laughs> Tyler. Uh, blood be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take a point off now. Uh, Mike. <laughs> Is it uh, Dark Light Souls? Not first. Josh. Dark Souls. <laughs> That's uh, five points for both of you. It is Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so... Uh, to finish yeah. it off, uh, the game's successor is rated T, and so could this one, really. The blood doesn't look realistic, and the violence is all in a fantasy setting. Frightening intense. That was frightening intense. Drugs and alcohol. The player character can take an item called the Green Blossom, which makes you hyper hyperactive. <laughs> I, love the, I love these ones. These, these, these make me laugh a lot. But frightening intense. You, can, you will die hundreds of times throughout the game, so get used to it. If you, die, <laughs> don't, if you die, don't cry. Uh, the game is based uh, on what? skill and patience, so giving up will just make the game harder. Can I change friend, my game? No, giving up always giving makes up. the game easier. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to change intense. my guess. The scariest part of this entire game is that anyone can kill you. You can defeat a boss, then turn your back and get killed by a grunt. That's the scariest <laughs> part of life, too. <laughs> yeah. That's You're almost never safe in this game. Anything can and will kill you if you aren't careful. The enemy, enemies are almost all quite creepy, and the setting is very morbid. Everyone is dead, save for a few people who can't die, including the player character. Although he did say you'll die hundreds of times throughout the game. So, yeah, these people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> is it Leisure Suit Larry? You know, I had Leisure Suit Larry as a, as a clue in the other one that I didn't use. The last game that I didn't uh, use. <laughs> that rolls. <laughs> All right, at the end of that round, Josh, you've got uh, Nick, you got oh. negative two. Sitting there. Tyler, you got two. Josh got five. Mike's got 20. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Josh down, you piece of shit. Next game, two thousands. Taking you down. <laughs> Can oh, I just okay. take out my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, Nick. To be honest with you, I tried to look yeah. for nineties games, and they're hard to find. Any 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 people talking about them? Any people putting any that, like nineties eighties games? Is, is uh, nothing going on in Booger Man? You gotta go to adventure. like the Library of Congress. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, people because people because you get parental guidance. You get parental guidance warnings at the Library of Congress. Yeah. <laughs> Also, the ESRB yeah. wasn't that like around uh, 1994 or something. It was, it was. Yeah. Um, but the, just a lot of people on IMDb don't don't really rate anything from before you know mm-hmm. 2000. Uh, I found a few of them. Fucking and, uh, millennials. Really Damn them. I know, I know. Uh, this one, Damn sex them. and nudity, moderate. Rated R for bloody from? violence. It's 2000s. Uh, yeah. Rated R for bloody violence, brief, strong language, some sexual content, and partial nudity. It is just video games rated R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Tyler. Matrix. <laughs> Taking another point off of Tyler. That's it's two different video games. So it could have I'll been. take two points. Yeah, thank yeah. you. One for Enter the Matrix, one for Path of Neo. I guess both. <laughs> and then three because the movies the, the last three movies sucked. Um <laughs> Sex and Nudity, moderate. It is possible to solicit a, solicit a prostitute at a brothel. No sex is seen, but it's implied through fade to black to have happened. As a joke, it's possible for the player character to wake up in bed next to various animals. 
depending on the brothel choices taken. Hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that just is so funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Josh. It's bully. No. Um, <laughs> uh, is this... Um, uh, oh, fuck. It's, uh, is it Elder Scrolls? Tyler. The Wacky Brothel. <laughs> Another point off of Tyler. <laughs> Mike. Now, I know you said, uh, I know Red Dead Redemption 2 was a clue already. It, would Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 be the game? It is not Red Dead Redemption oh. 1. It oh. is not um, Elder Scrolls. Yeah. And it is, is, it, uh, is it the wacky brothel? <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Let's, let's just say that. Well, okay. everybody, I guessed it. You're good, Tyler. Is that a wacky racer spinoff? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> it, it did not air catch, for very long. Catch chlamydia. Catch chlamydia. <laughs> that was a catch the pigeon reference. Esterly was a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs and alcohol, mild. Uh, gifts can be given to your party members to increase their approval. Some of these gifts take the form of alcoholic beverages. J- uh, Tyler. Is this Dragon Age Origins? Josh. Is this Dragon Age Origins? It is Dragon Age Origins. You can't keep I up just, with me. Yeah. <laughs> you should have given points. me points. I just, I just took what he said. Yeah, he's a fucking copycat. Yeah, I think th- this is the second game I've played with you hosting, and I think I've played one game you've mentioned <laughs> over the course <laughs> of the two... two uh, you're the one who puts yourself as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> you booked the show. You, you, you know, you know what that game was. Which game was that? Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was this 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 was Deep in Super cut. Mario Brothers. This was in Super Brothers. Sex and uh, sex and nudity. The sex scenes range from interracial intercourse to gay and lesbian intercourse. The scenes aren't very graphic in their nature. Men and women passionately kiss one another in their underwear, and the screen fades to black. Graphic moaning is then heard. Now, is it specifically that it's interracial that elevates its? Uh, yeah, exactly. There's so much to unpack inappropriateness. With that statement, honestly. <laughs> I know. Um, the the sex and nudity moderate. Uh, the last clue would be one of the main boss fights is a brood mother. She's a large lump of flesh with eight boobs where everything is shown. <laughs> it's just a large lump. <laughs> A flesh, eight boobs, everything is shown. Out of her head, I think so. <laughs> is that a video game of that? Is there a video game of the President of the United States of America, the band, where you go around and you write their songs with uh, eight-bit guitars, but then also other things happen that are fun? Is there that should it? Be. At the end, you there move into be. the country and you, you eat yourself you a, a lot, lot of peaches. peaches. Yep. Pretty sure that's the wacky brothel. <laughs> Alright, this next one's 2010s. Uh, multi, uh, sex and nudity mild. During one cutscene, a woman briefly grabs her own clothed breasts. This is done in a non-sexual content. Four points. Profanity. Moderate. The main character occasionally oh. uses strong language. Fuck. When he falls over or loses balance around the environment. Depending on how many times the player causes the assist to occur to contributes to the quality of strong quantity of strong language used in the game as a whole. Tyler. The clumsy cusser. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, Josh. What what you said 2010s? Yep. And a woman non-sexually touches her breasts? Yep. Madden 14. <laughs> <laughs> That woman was Madden. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about the Madden games, honestly, is the fact that the kids playing it now don't have any, don't have a fucking clue who Madden is. <laughs> yeah. It's just the word My that dad. means football. It's just the word that means football now. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what, that's what uh, we used to call football back in the 1930s. The Europeans hey, called it. You want to go Madden? You want to go play some Madden? The Europeans call it Madden. <laughs> <laughs> no, they call it lay Madden. <laughs> well, I almost go for said th- L because I'm stupid. <laughs> violence and gore, moderate. There's little to no graphic violence in the game. 
One of the few instances of any disturbing violence is during a cutscene where a ghost grabs a character who's trapped under a truck and begins to attack him until his friends shoot him in the head to put him out of his misery. The ghost then grab attacks the friend, levitating him into the air. The friend tries to kill himself by stabbing himself repeatedly. It is unclear if he survived or not, as his death is not shown, but is strongly implied. This is the most violent part of the game. Mike. Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> I'm not as good as Mario. I'm not as good as Mario. I'm not as good as Mario. <laughs> Josh. The ghosts. <laughs> Uh, it's not Luigi's Mansion. It's not ghosts. No, no, no. It's Luigi walking ghosts, around the mansion, it, right? Oh, there are there are ghosts in the game. Yes, yes, there are ghosts. Yeah, it's the Ghost Whisper, but the video game. No, it's the only English word he knows. <laughs> uh, uh, what's what's that lady's name? Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Love, Jennifer Love right? Hewitt. Yeah, yeah. It's her. Uh, her first video soiree into. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> glad you, I'm glad you started to go somewhere there. Uh, me, me, Fred, me too. Fighting intense scenes severe. <laughs> Why this is fighting intense? The player can construct weapons using their own blood and bodily waste. How is this not Ghost Whisperer? How is this not <laughs> Booger Man, a pick and flick adventure? <laughs> yeah. And the last clue for one point. The main protagonist partakes in various bathroom activities. Uh, 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 there it is. Peeing, <laughs> pooping, showering, and bathing. Oh. However, due to careful camera angles, the most that has ever shown is his buttocks, visible briefly during showering, and also displayed in a handful of separate cutscenes and narrative moments. The protagonist also walks in a room on which the blurred shape of a showering woman may be seen through a thick glass shower wall. Mm. And for an extra bonus clue on that one, because I think you may all have it now, I'll give it to you afterwards. Josh. <laughs> yep, we all have it. <laughs> yeah, we oh, all, Seinfeld. Mike has the episode it. episode where George takes a shit. And it is, goes. is the episode. Uh, Tyler. Uh, I really thought I'd have it by now. Can I go <laughs> last? <laughs> what was that? After Mike, who definitely has it. <laughs> oh, since, since, since you guys don't have it, I'll give you the bonus clue. Um, cool. And then, then pick it up. Let, let, um, let Mike guess. Mike's like, Wait, but Mike, I know, Mike. guys. I think I got it. Is it Duke Nukem Forever? Oh, Mike didn't have it. <laughs> okay. Oh. There you go. <laughs> The, the, I, the, bonus clue would have been, the bonus clue would have been again. one of the places that they pee is Conan O'Brien's house. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Is, oh, is it the... We'll say it at the uh, same, same time. Show. Ready, guys? Let's all say it at the <laughs> oh, same you, time. Nobody has it. I got Mike, it. Mike, um, you, Mike, you got it? Is it Death Stranding? Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. Yeah. yeah, we said it at the same time. It's Jay Leno Simulator. <laughs> they right, they so. pee at Conan O'Brien's house in Death Stranding. Yeah. That was yeah, David Letterman's closet, I think. <laughs> what? Is Where it, Jay Leno uh, was hiding in Dave uh, Letterman's sure. closet. Yes. <laughs> I, well, guess yeah, was, I just don't understand art. There was it was there was a thing because you can pee anywhere in the game, and there was a thing where everybody was going to the address of Conan O'Brien's house and just pissing on the on the the ground where, he, where uh, his house was. was <laughs> Death Stranding was that the motorcycle one? No, that was the one where you had like a baby in a in a in a, in a, was, in a uh, sack. Yeah, okay. It was one uh, with um, motorcycle. One was uh, uh, who cares? It wasn't very good. Yeah, but it was it was with um, what's his face? Um, yeah, from the the show that isn't very good either. Uh, yeah, yeah. Walking Dead. What's his name? I, I, his name. I do like I, him though. He's he's okay. Can't remember yeah. his name. No. Do we have like bejeweled? Maybe. Uh, next one's from the 1990s, Nick. Yeah, how about Angry Birds? <laughs> um, so at the end of that round, uh, Nick, you got negative two. Tyler's got two. Josh, you got five. And Mike's got 19. Josh is cheating. Why do I still have five? <laughs> I have no fucking <laughs> clue. <laughs> I don't think your math is right. <laughs> no, I've, I've, been, I've been doing the math correctly. I 1990s. The math that last round. This one is Nintendo only. Oh. Sex and nudity mild. Despite a game rated kids to adults, the old equivalent of E for everyone, there's more suggestive innuendo throughout the game than one would think. Nick. This is Gex. <laughs> Josh. Duck Hunt. Tyler. Super, super Mario. It is not Super Mario. It is not Duck Hunt. And it is not yeah, it is. Gex. Said it was, <laughs> was, was one sexy duck. 
And violence and gore for moderate for four points. The entire game is based on fighting enemies, but no violence is ever really shown. Tyler. Implied attack. <laughs> <laughs> Not <an> implied attack. <laughs> Drugs and alcohol, mild to three points. Some characters seem drunk, but they say they're drinking cappuccino. Josh. Dunkin' Donuts promotional video game <laughs> floppy disk two. You sure it's not 19... Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> sure it's not Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I have sure no idea said it's on Nintendo. It's the only <laughs> game that's only they on Nintendo. Drink espresso. I just wanted to waste more time, but I don't know. I don't know. Writing intense scenes, severe for two points. Some of the enemies may be scary or frightening to young children, especially the final boss of the game, Gygus, who was kind of disturbing looking. I guess along with the music accompanying him, I the battle has been one. disputed as one of the scariest moments in video game history, but the game in general had a very nice, upbeat feeling about it. I don't know what the fuck any of this is, buddy. Tyler. I think that you're just... Uh, final Fantasy. Uh, do I have to put a number? Yes. Josh, what's your favorite number four to six? Give me one of them. Nine, two. Four two. To six. Yeah. Four. Uh, Mike. Four. Final Fantasy four. Final answer. Mike. Two. Uh, Earthbound? It's oh, not Final Fantasy right. four, but it is Earthbound. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't drag me down with you, Tyler. The final, I needed the, a number. The, the, the you one threw me two. off, too. I was almost going to guess with a different Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> the it final like clue was the, do. the mother of famous four side singer Venus talks to Ness about her daughter doing a photo shoot and states, I sure hope she kept her clothes on this time. <laughs> I sure Nintendo. hope she kept her clothes on this time. Get your act together, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, the last clue before the boss round. Whoa. Uh, which I'm oh, actually going to give. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it uh, since. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike's running away with this. Uh, 21 yeah. points. <laughs> uh, Josh has three. Uh, Tyler yeah. has zero. And Nick, you've got negative three. Um, cool. This is 2000s as well. Uh, multi and violence and gore severe. While the iOS version still has a hefty amount of blood and dead bodies, it is nowhere near the gore of the console version. Hmm. 2000s? Yep. Hmm. Josh. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty Dead Body Time. It is not Call Three. of Duty Dead Body Time. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> For four points in profanity moderate, ten uses of fuck. Words like hell, shit, damn, oh my god, and bitch are used, but you hear them very infrequently. There's only one use of god damn it. There are three uses of fuck in the iOS version. And other languages such as bitch, hell, damn, god damn it, and shit are said infrequently in the iOS version. <laughs> In this iOS, <laughs> gosh, candle guys game. It is not candle guys. Game. All right, uh, I know if you if you if you if you thought that in the third three point question they were going to mention the iOS version again. I the game contains does. countless jump scenes and scenes of violence and brutality. If your kid can handle gore, then fourteen plus. If he is she, if then fourteen plus. If he is sensitive to that thing, then fifteen plus. Yeah, West version should be okay for 13 plus. Hey, he or she. <laughs> Women play video games. <laughs> if he's sensitive, yeah. tell him to wait a year and then get over it. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or just go back to the iOS version. <laughs> uh, Josh. Oh, uh, that's a typo. It's supposed to be an Italian flag. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'm sorry. IOS SOS. <laughs> it's not IOS SOS. Damn it. Two IOS points. ISS? Is that your guess? IOS IRS. No. Okay. Two points. <laughs> sex and nudity. And this says it's a, basically they said there's no sex and nudity in this. Uh, some of the enemies, human corpses resurrected by an alien parasite, are naked. However, they are so heavily mutated that genitalia have disappeared likely owing to the fact that these creatures reproduce by infecting others and thus have no need for sexual organs. <laughs> Dude, does the iOS version... It doesn't have say anything about the iOS version. Bulldog in the iOS version. The funny thing is, funny thing is to, to this person, I think sex and nudity, like, like alien chest bursting is one of the sexiest things they've ever seen. 
Uh, Tyler. Plants vs. Zombies? House of the Dead 2. Mike. Uh, I feel like this guy's making a lot of assumptions if this is right, but is it Resident Evil 4? Josh. Uh, Monopoly, but the, the one you can play on the computer. <laughs> it is not any of those. It is not Resident Evil 4. It is not House of the Dead 2. <laughs> yeah. I put a real guess not, out there. It is not Monopoly, the one you can play on the iOS. <laughs> Man, um, no, I said computer. A computer, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, violence and gore, severe again. The enemies you fight are called necromorphs, and they must be dismembered in order to kill oh. them. When a limb is dismembered, lots of blood spurts out and splashes on the floor of walls. Dead enemies can also be completely dismembered via a brutal, brutally violent stomping Oh, I move. remember. <laughs> Tyler. Yeah, me too. Uh, oh, Dead Space. That's it. Mike. We had Dead Space. Josh. Don Cheadle's Dead Space. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it is Dead Space. Don Cheadle's Dead Space. I didn't even remember people talking in that game. Why? It's just this you one quiet guy. Game what, what, what'd, you play, what'd you play the iOS Apparently version? Apparently he said fuck a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you play the iOS version, three times. Yeah. <laughs> That's a few. So here's what I'm going to do. And uh, Nick, you can tell me to stop. If you, you can tell me not to if... if uh, if you want to. No, I want some points. What's going on? I'm going to give 20 <laughs> points for this question. Perfect. And it's might the get boss second level. place. Final boss. <laughs> and if you, everybody's going to get everybody's going to get a guess. But this is literally the most hilarious group of clues I've ever read. And they're all by the same person. That's why this is the boss level. Um, so anyways, in drugs and alcohol, this person really hated alcohol. <laughs> A year. When's the decade? Two thousands. Okay, this is important. moderate. My children tell me that there's drinking in the game, but there's zero benefit, and it costs money, so they never do it. <laughs> Players have the ability to go to a pub and drink alcohol, and it will cost them money. If the player drinks too much, you will find the character in a haystack. Drinking is not required, and most players stay away. The player isn't required to do this, as it does cost money that you can use to buy <laughs> other resources with, and it can be a hassle. There's one part in the game where you find the character that you find the character that you play drunk. The scene is overall about five minutes. It's actually meant to be a serious part of the story and not meant for fun. <laughs> Recommended age 13 plus violence, some language, non-required alcohol consumption. <laughs> <laughs> violence eight, language six, sex one, alcohol and drugs are ten. <laughs> Why? It's not required. <laughs> so sounds well, like a zero to me. Game. <laughs> 2000s and you you do have to be specific <laughs> i'm gonna start with uh nick why would you start with me okay you know what? i'm not gonna start with nick i'm gonna start with mike <laughs> thank you <laughs> cool. the other three um i can t- i can t- I, I, can g- I can give you a, i give you i give everybody a clue there's one word in there that will clue you into what this what what this is <laughs> That clue would have been helpful uh, before you read the clue. Is it uh, and? Is that? I don't remember yeah, any of the words. Because I can't remember the clue. one word or and a single word from the right. clues. Now. Read oh, the I'll, 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 read it, I'll read it over. I'll read it over again because because it, it is that funny to me. I'll read it over again. My children tell me there's drinking in the game, but there's zero benefit and it costs money, so they never do it. <laughs> money. That's the word. <laughs> player of the ability. Players have the ability to go to a pub and drink alcohol. And it will cost them money. If the player drinks too much, you will find the character in a haystack. Drinking is not required, it's and most players stay away. The player isn't required to do this, as it does cost money that you can use to buy other resources with it, and it can be a hassle. There's one part of the game where you find the character that you play drunk. The scene is overall about five minutes. It's actually meant to be a serious part of the story and not meant for fun. <sighs> Recommended age 13 plus. Violence, some language, non-required alcohol consumption is my favorite, my new favorite <laughs> statement. <laughs> Violence eight, language six, sex one, alcohol, drugs are ten. <laughs> oh, so know. okay, I'm focused. I'm focused on a specific word, and I don't think it's right because of this word. But that's that's what I'm going to stick with. Uh, is it Assassin's Creed two? Tyler. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. I was thinking that exact same thing, <laughs> identically. <laughs> Assassin's Creed two, an original idea by me. Josh. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> all the alcoholic use of minecraft <laughs> well it's the, the story that really brings me back nick well this is the video game that that new oh, netflix movie oh. is based on needle in a time stack <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I will tell you that Tyler and Mike both had the series correct. <laughs> ah. Uh-huh. But I, Assassin's Creed I guess this has, I guess three. Four. Right? Four. four. Black, oh, four. Black Flag. I glitched I out. Uh... Really like Assassin's Creed after three. or yeah. at three. Four, so four. I stopped playing. <laughs> four is a fantastic game. Uh, it really is. Uh, um, you get to get to go whaling, which is kind of brutal, but um, I, I just love the fact that I just love the non-required alcohol consumption. Um, <laughs> so I gave everybody a chance to kind of at least tie or Josh to at least tie. Uh, but the final scores yeah. are uh, Nick at negative one, negative three, Nick at negative three, <sighs> Tyler at negative one, um, Josh at one, and Mike. I can't believe you won this, but twenty-one points. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, Mike. Back, Jack. <laughs> Why can't you believe I won this? I stay at home all day and just play video games. <laughs> so that was that was that was a video game. That was the second video game one. Um, uh, there were a couple of hiccups, but I, I thought it might have. I thought it was fun, um, and uh, we learned something about some games. And we learned that uh, Nick uh, should probably not be a guest on this show, <laughs> on this version of the show. <laughs> um, I tried but, uh, my best. I, I haven't hope, heard hope. of of like eighty percent of those games. That's the problem, <laughs> Nick. You tried your best. You <laughs> tried so hard, but anyways, um, well, thank you all for uh, being here. Um, Nick, you got anything to plug? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> why don't you save me for last? All right, all right. <laughs> Tyler, you got anything, you got anything going on? <laughs> uh, I'm, I want to plug just the human concept of fear. Let's just feel some Perfect. fear. The human concept of fear. Love it. Josh, anything to plug? Yeah. Uh, one story houses. You ever heard of these things? <laughs> yeah, because they have no stare. stairs. Yeah. Not, a single, <laughs> not a single stare at them. You can't fall down. What isn't there, Josh? <laughs> I was saying that to me, not to you, the host of the show, Josh. Poirier. Mike, anything to plug? Uh, I'm going to be hiding in my house playing video games uh, for the next uh, three months, uh, waiting out uh, COVID a little bit longer. And uh, in the meantime, uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Air Giordano, and um, give blood. uh, But don't leave it on on the dead body, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you can turn blood off um, in most most, uh, most, situations. Turn blood off, but donate it. Um, for me, uh, my, my, this game has been brought to you by the non-required alcohol consumption. <laughs> uh, but Nick, uh, it's your show. Uh, take it away, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Josh, so much for, for doing that. That was a lot of fun, even if you don't include any of the games I've played. <laughs> yeah, Pong wasn't brought up once. No. <laughs> you, you, you know how hard it is to find parental guidance warnings on Pong? I looked. You can, you can make them up. I looked. <laughs> I was, expecting at least to say, I, was expecting, yeah. I was expecting at least the paddles look like dicks. <laughs> it's a ball slapping. <laughs> what year did Pong come out? 1977? Yeah, 2017. <laughs> 77? Uh, I was hoping it was somewhere around uh, the Iran-Contra crisis, because then we can <laughs> talk well, about, about that. that. <sighs> yeah. yeah Pong, Pong, accurately, Pong accurately depicts the Watergate scandal. why is gas so expensive i hate this game (laughs) not required alcohol consumption (laughs) josh thank you again for hosting thank you for for having me thank you for letting me host yep if you if you ever want to do it again uh you are welcome thank you Uh, and until then, thank you once again to Tyler Tuttle, Josh Pick, Mike Giordano, and the host Josh Poirier. I'm Nick Martucci. Uh, I'll be back in the hosting seat this Monday, uh, December 20th, Monday. 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Christmas. We're doing two shows next week on Monday and Thursday. Both of them are holiday-themed movies. Oh, so well, uh, something to get into the uh, Scrooge. Uh, spirit. <laughs> I, I can't confirm nor deny that Scrooge will be featured at some point next week. Um, and we still have a couple of spots open for that. So if you've oh. watched any of this uh, and you think you want to play the game, uh, reach out to me. 
Best place to do that is Facebook on the Facebook group, Search Inappropriate Movie Database. You can also find me on all other social media at Blundering Idiom. Uh, we've got uh, four shows left this year. Uh, Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, please watch all of those. And uh, thank you so much for watching mm. this. Uh, and uh, go ahead and watch, uh, watch, watch the last one of these. The last one was good too, and I got a higher score. So that's just a promotion for me. Thank you <laughs> well, again for watching. Go, go, Kex. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. We are off.